Hello people, welcome to this class. In this opportunity, I will teach you how to form questions in Spanish. Let me tell you that to form questions in Spanish is very simple. You just have to change the pronunciation a little bit by lifting your voice at the end of the sentence. And also, it is important to know that all questions in Spanish begin with a, an upside down question mark. Let's see the following examples for you to understand me what I said. If you didn't get it, I want you to go back to the beginning of the video and watch the video again. Let's see the following examples for you to understand what I said. Okay, here you have it. Tú tienes la llave. That is the sentence in Spanish. And also, we have the same sentence in English. You have the key. Tú tienes la llave. Tú, the subject, tienes the verb, la llave, the subject. Tú tienes la llave. Is a sentence, is also a statement in Spanish. Tú tienes la llave. So what can I do to turn this sentence into a question? Okay, uh, as I said before, we have to change the pronunciation a little bit and we have to lift our voice at the end. So I have to say, Tú tienes la llave? Tú tienes la llave? Do you have the key? Okay, let's do it again. I will say the same sentence in affirmative and then in interrogative. So I need your attention. Listen. Tú tienes la llave. Affirmative. Tú tienes la llave. I repeat. Tú tienes la llave. Okay, now in question. Tú tienes la llave. Tú tienes la llave. I repeat. Tú tienes la llave. Affirmative. Tú tienes la llave. Interrogative. Tú tienes la llave. Tú tienes la llave. Ok, now let's move to the next example. It says, ellos están enfermos. They are sick. Ellos, the subject, están, the linking verb, enfermos. In this case, is an adjective and also the subject complement. Ellos están enfermos. As you can see, it's a sentence. And basically, what we have to do is to begin this sentence with an upside down question mark. And then we have to lift our voice at the end of the sentence. Okay. Ellos están enfermos. Ellos están enfermos. I repeat, afirmate. Ellos están enfermos. It's a statement. Ellos están enfermos. They are sick. Now, question. Ellos están enfermos. Are they sick? Ellos están enfermos. Enfermos. Question. Enfermos. Afirmative. Enfermos. Ellos están enfermos. Interrogative. Ellos están enfermos. Ellos están enfermos slowly. Ellos están enfermos. Afirmale. Ellos están enfermos. Ellos están enfermos. Before moving to the next examples, I gotta say that I am pretty sure you have gotten the two rules that we have to know to ask a question in Spanish. As I said before, is to lift the voice at the end of the sentence and also we have to begin the sentence with an upside down question mark. By now, I need your participation. I know that I cannot hear you, but it doesn't matter. Whatever you are watching this video, I need you to repeat this sentence in an affirmative and interrogative form. Okay, and if you have more sentences with you, and if you want to practice, do it, do it. Practice, practice, and practice, and you will be a master, okay? So, repeat. Ella es enfermera. Afirmate. Ella es enfermera. Repeat. 
Ella es enfermera. She is a nurse in English. Ella, subject, es linking verb. Enfermera, subject, complement. Ella es enfermera. Now, let's do it in question. Ella es enfermera. Ella es enfermera. Ella es enfermera. If you didn't pay attention at the beginning of the video and you were asking, okay, if we are using the same letters, ella es enfermera. Ella, subject, es verb, enfermera, adjective. We are using the same subject, the same verb, and the same adjective. So, what did we do? Okay, let me tell you the answer. First, we have to begin the same sentence with an upside down question mark. And then we have to leave the voice at the end. Okay? Ella es enfermera. Statement. Question. Ella es enfermera? Let's see the following example. Hay frío afuera. It's cold outside. It's cold outside. Hay frío afuera. Statement. Question. Is it cold outside? Hay frío afuera. Hay frío afuera. Statement. Hay frío afuera. Question. Hay frío afuera. I want you to repeat. Statement. Hay frío afuera. Hay frío afuera. Question. Hay frío afuera. Hay frío afuera. I will do it slowly. Statement. Hay frío afuera. Question. Hay frío afuera. Let's see the last examples. Ella es doctora. She is a doctor. Ella es doctora. Statement. Question. We open the sentence with an upside down question mark. Ella es doctora. And then we lift our voice. Ella es doctora. Is she a doctor? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Si, sí, ella es doctora. No, ella no es doctora. Okay, but that is not the point. We are just focused on questions in Spanish. In the last example, English is fácil. English is easy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Inglés es fácil. Statement. Question. Inglés es fácil. Inglés es fácil. I repeat. Inglés es fácil. Statement. Inglés es fácil. Inglés es fácil. Question. Inglés es fácil. Inglés es fácil. Inglés es fácil. I don't know. I don't know. To be honest. My mother tongue is Spanish and believe me, I took like um five years to learn English. But I have heard that people say that Spanish is more difficult. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay guys, the video is over. That's all that I have for this video. If you need to know more about this topic or any other topic in Spanish, just ask me. I will be willing to help you to improve your Spanish if you need. So ask me, comment on this video if you need to know anything, and I will be here available for you. Thank you very much. See you then.